Good morning. Welcome to Season 12, Episode 21 of Eagle News for Monday, October 1st, 2018. Welcome to our first ever HQ Trivia Contest here on Eagle News. One special announcement. Any 7th or 8th grade student interested in playing basketball or wrestling, please be ready to attend an informational meeting this Tuesday during advisory. This Tuesday. Be ready. That's tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> Now HQ, here we go. Teachers, Mr. Meta sent you an email with a Kahoot code and we would appreciate that you are the only one that is answering the questions. We are trying to eliminate what happened last week to our trivia show. Switch. Now, unlike the actual HQ, teachers, you will not be eliminated if you get a question wrong. So here goes our first try at this all Eagle News HQ trivia. Mr. Meta spent all night writing this up last night, hoping it would last make week. Oh, last week, <laughs> hoping it would make sense in the advisory with the most points on the Kahoot game that will you see that you will see. that will you see in a minute will win a special prize to be delivered to your room immediately after the trivia show is over. Trivia, what is it? What exactly does it do? Why do we as people always want to get the answer right? Pause for a minute. Teachers, your code is in your email. Continue the script, Reagan. Okay. <laughs> and when we get the question right, we feel good, rejoiced, happy, and accomplished. And when we are wrong, dejected, sad, mad, we want to we want to get the next one correct. Just ask Miss Salome when she's not happy when Mr. Meta misses school because she always wants to be number one. Or Mrs. Street, who claims her phone is stuck with some kind of Mr. Meta virus because her texts don't go through the network fast enough to get the bonus five points. Or maybe ask Mr. Turner, who for the first time was on the news last week when his advisory finally answered a question correctly. We didn't give them a shout out because all the advisories got the answer correct. We are not sure, but here at Eagle News, it is something that is a lot of fun, and because you all like it, we are trying this. Our very own HQ trivia. So, teachers, here are the rules. You must be logged into the Kahoot using your name only. For example, Ms. Versmeyer, you should type in Mrs. Versmeyer and not just Versmeyer. It's okay if they just did last names this time. That's what they're doing now, it's good. <laughs> it needs to make sense. Students, please do not join this Kahoot. Go. Again, teachers, please use your na last name and your last name only. Whoever has. Whoever has. Whoever has the most amount of points at the end of the 12 questions, their advisor will receive a special prize that you will get as soon as it's over. Now, teachers, put in the code on the Kahoot app or on a web browser. Go to kahoot.it on the TV screen now. We'll be starting soon, so be fast. So, who will have the quick fingers to answer the questions? What do you think will happen, and what advisor will win the special prize at the end of the show? Alright. Are we ready? Switch. Yeah. Alright. Alright, now I'm good. Oh, that was a terrible voice crack. Alright, ready girls? Go, pull that. Oh, it's me. Oh. Go. What year did Hyatt's Middle School open? Is it A, 19... 100 to 01, B, 2007 to 8, or C, 0 to 1 AD? I don't know, I think it was 0 to 1 AD. What do you think, Raya? Uh, yeah. How I mean, old would that make me, girls? I mean, pretty old. <laughs> Alright, keep going. <laughs> keep going. So, if you look at the answers here, it would be safe to say two of these choices would make Mr. Meta very old since he's been here the entire time Hyde has been around. What's the correct answer? So the correct answer was B. 2007, 2008. Go over those headlines. Go over those leaders. So Mrs. Han is in first place. Just read the names. Oh. Han is first, then Mr. Wan is second, Dom is third, and Brogno is fourth, and Mr. Hay is in fifth. Next question. How many years... Whoa. Oh, Go. How many years what, has... What, wrong oh. one. Read the screen. What colors? Oh, what colors are some of Mr. Meadows' favorite teams? Um, A, black and gold, B, orange and brown, or C, red and green. Keep reading the answers. Keep going. That's, it's not, it's not, not on the You guys are on the next question. 
You're on the Philippines? No. Okay. Uh, the that, correct, don't worry about the script. Oh. Read the answer. The correct answer was blocking gold. So Mr. Wan is in first, Han in second, and Brogno in third, Mr. Hay in fourth, and uh, Dom in fifth. <laughs> question three, are you ready? Are you ready for question three? <laughs> how many years oh how many years has the film festival been around? A two thousand eighteen years, B a hundred years, or C is it ten years? Well the film festival is an annual event here at Heist. Just ask any of the teachers. I am sure they can tell you about it. But this is year ten of the show, which gives about three thousand five hundred Dollars worth of prizes every year to the winners of the show. Want to participate in this year's show? Look for the meeting and the theme in January. Stop. Leaders, let that scroll. So Juan is in first, and Brogno is in fourth, Hay is in fifth, Street in sixth, and. Oh, what? That was wrong. Juan is in first, and Brogno second, Hay in third, Street in fourth, and Han in fifth. All right, you guys ready for question four? Yep. Yeah. All right. Question four. What color was Mr. Nicolosi's hair back in 2006? Now, I don't even know. I was probably learning how to walk back then. But the answers are A, gray, B, salt and pepper, or C, black. All right, so the correct answer was C. Wait, read the script. Oh, Mr. Lagmelosi, by the way, if you want to check out his special award, go visit his room. It shines very brightly on the windowsill. Anyways, looking into the history of the gray hair, when Hyatt's opened, Mr. Nicolosi had black hair, and when year two started, he came back with the gray hair, and that was the end of the black hair. So, in 2006, the answer was black hair. <laughs> Over the, over the leaders. All right, Mr. Rogno is in first place, Mrs. Vogue in second, Mrs. Pulliam in third, Osborne in fourth, and Han in fifth. On to Q5. Question five. What movie won Best Picture Award in last year's Oscars? A, The Shape of Water, B, La La Land, or C, The Dark Knight? Movies are something that Mr. Meta talks about a lot. Ask him about the upcoming movie, A Star is Born. It comes out next Thursday, and he's going to see it after conference night. Anyway, La La Land was the runner-up in the Oscars two years ago, but Batman never won Best Picture, although Heath Ledger won the Best Supporting Oscar for his portrayal of the Joker in The Dark Knight. Last year's winner of Best Picture is The Shape of Water, a love story about a mute woman of all things. And of all things. And of all things, an alien that the government was hiding. Yep, let's check the standings out. In first place, Mrs. Vogue. In second place, Mrs. Pulliam. In third place, Mr. Nicolosi. In fourth place, Miss Meyer. In fifth place, Mr. Wan. What I want to know, girls, is where is Mrs. Sloan's room? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mrs. Sloan, come on. All right, on to key six. What two letters stand for iron on the periodic table of elements? Now this is meant for all the science teachers, but is it A, I, N, B, F, E, or is it C, I, R? We don't know much about the table of elements, but this one, Mr. Meta's son, Adam, made up. He wanted to trick you all, so the answer was F, E. Mrs. Vogue is in first place. Mr. Nicolosi is in second place. Miss Pulliam is in third place, Miss Meyer is in fourth place, and Juan is in fifth place. <laughs> Mrs. Sloan just let us know her opinion. It's unreadable on the news. Um, <laughs> that's why we're saying it. All right, uh, are we ready for All right. Q7. Q7. No. Which country does not have a border? Does not border does Italy. Not, oh. <laughs> does not border Italy. Is it A, Vatican City, B, Austria, or C, Norway? Maps, so oh maps. So if you don't know much about European geography, then this one is a hard one. We know that Vatican City, Vatican, Vatican City, 
is bordered by two miles with Italy, and if you think about Norway, it is, it's near Sweden, which is nowhere near Italy. So the correct answer is Norway. Let's check the standings. In first place, Miss Vogue. Second, Nicolosi. Well, Nicolosi's only down by one point. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Third. How do I say that? Kern. That's Kern. Mrs. Kern. Oh, Kern. Oh. Um, fourth, Dom. And fifth, Mayer. Meyer. 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 Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we, we mess that name up all the time. Mayer and Meyer. They get mad at me. All right, we ready for the next one? Who's reading it? Sure. Go. <laughs> On to question eight. Before Facebook changed the meaning of its thumbs up to like, it was called A, sweet, B, awesome, or was it C, cool? Here at Hyatt's, the consensus. consensus of the kids think they are not on Facebook until they hit their senior year in high school. And the main reason is simply because their parents are on it. But, bef oh. but before that, Th that thumbs up meant like. It meant awesome. Now based on the movie about Facebook, The Social Network, which by the way is Mr. Meta's favorite drama, they never mentioned this fact in the movie. So even Mr. Meta got it wrong. Let's check the standings. Ooh. Vogue is in first place. M Meyer is in second. Dom is in third, Nicolosi in fourth, and Kern in fifth. All right, all of you are telling me Vatican City is a city state. I'm going off my countries, okay? That's just what it said on the <laughs> trivia book. Let it go on to question the nine. The tell 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 What's that? Tell yes, oh. President. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I got you, I got you. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. Are we all back? No, no. no. no Telephone, please, no. <clears throat> Four, one, that one, right? Yeah. Is it back? Yeah. 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 All right, we're back at it. Next question. Question nine. Go. Which band released the song, Hey There, Delilah? Is it A, Plain White Tees, B, R.E.M., or were they C, The Replacements? Singing is something that Mr. Meta is telling us we will be doing in class, but this, this catchy tune was put together with the band Plain White Tees. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. Oh. That's all right. Keep going. Do any of you know who the replacements are? They were a light alternative band that Mr. Meta listened to all the time as a senior at the University of Dayton. Let's check the standings. Mrs. Vogue is in first place. Mrs. Dom is in second place, Ms. Meyer is in third place, Mr. Nicolosi is in fourth place, and Ms. Kern is in fifth place. Who's on fire down there at the bottom? Osborne. Oh, oh. Alright, ready? <laughs> Question 10. What Hall of Fame wide receiver finished fourth in the 1997 Heisman Trophy race? Was it A, Randy Moss, B, Marvin Harrison, or T, Terrell Owens? C. C. Go. Okay, now a football question. No, do any of you remember which Heisman Trophy race this was? It was Peyton Manning and Charles Woodson. But the answer to this question resided with, at Marshall University, and his name was Randy Moss. We are not sure where Terrell Owens was doing, and Marvin Harrison was already in the NFL. Let's check the standings. Only two questions left. Ms. Vogue in first, Mrs. Dom in second, Ms. Meyer in third, Mr. Nicolosi in fourth, and Ms. Kern in fifth. Thompson is back in the row, back in the game with three in a row. Q11. What was the first video ever played on MTV? Was it the song A, Beat It? Sweet Carolina or B. Oh, Sweet Carolina. Sweet Carolina. Keep going. Or C. Video killed the radio star. 37 years ago, MTV or music television started a new cable channel which showed Video killed the radio star as their first video played on its channel. MTV used to use most all the 24 hours to show music videos, but now it has all kinds of shows. On to the final question. 
Go over to standings. Oh, standings. Mrs. Vogue is in first place. Ms. Dom is in second place. Ms. Nick, Mr. Nicolosi is in third place. Ms. Meyer is in fourth place. And Mr. Turner is in fifth place. Read it. Okay. Will you get the kit in Kabuto? Will you have, will you win the big surprise or will you go empty handed? On to the final question. What was, oh, what was the first ever TV show to be televised on Disney Channel? Was it A, Mickey's Playhouse, B, Good Morning Mickey, or was it C, The Mickey Mouse Show? Only three people got it right. <laughs> Sing it. <laughs> M-I-C, Mickey, come on. <laughs> M-O-U-S-C, I'll sing it then. Mickey Mouse, keep going, read it. But before he made the playhouse, he sang, said good morning. Check. Let's check out the standing and celebrate the winner. Miss Vogue, Miss Vogue won. Don was in second, and Nicholas finished in third. Congratulations! All right. Keep going. Just keep going. Right. Remind, remind the winning advisory that we will be there in a little bit to deliver their prize. That's all for today. That's all for today. Uh, that was our HQ Eagle News, and uh, have a great week. Have a great week. We'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. With another episode of Evil News. <laughs> <laughs> All right, switch to me, switch to me. Four, four.